Charles River Peninsula. It's a relatively simple but wonderful property that trustees owns. And my blogger friend takes care of all the bird nests. There's an effort underway to increase bluebird habitat and it appears to be working. Another project he did was to identify every resident oriole on the entire peninsula and document its each one's various particular calls with this amazing library of Oriole IDs in the kind of scientific rigor that I'm sure has Aldo Leopold smiling somewhere wherever he ended up. <laughs> listening to <laughs> stereo mosquitoes <laughs> in each ear channel providing a stunning little sopra nina nino duet all indicators are suggesting the near proximity of the Charles including such things as odiferous swamp muck smell and the brightness of a clearing. Could the bridge be at hand? We shall see. Certainly A weed whacker or two. This looks like another little farm crossing relic. It's now a kind of vernacular path. That must be a entree to the peninsula or part of it. was the roar of nearby central air conditioning successfully mimicking to my senile ears the roar of a rush of water although we do know that the Charles is hardly a rushing river it's lazy like me Oh, there goes that AC thing. Huh, cool old rail relic. This way to Needham Junction. This way to Medfield Millis Milford something or other. Ah, a brief look at the map. First 
of reminds me that the railroad doesn't really cross the Charles until we get to the western edge of Charles River Park. Still in all, that is my initial destination. probably already gone along a significant part of the Charles Reservation, Charles River Peninsula Park. And on the other side of the river will be a Dover. This sort of looks like it might be a bridgely thing. That'd be nice. It would have it will mark the pinnacle, the end point of this examination of the Bay Colony Rail Branch to Needham Junction. Oh yeah, we're clearly doing some Charles Crossing here. Nice. This will leave me with ample battery juice to sing the praises of Charles River Peninsula Park as I explore it. So from here, this goes all the way down to Medfield and oh, there's a chipmunk. <laughs> Scurry. Vernacular mess. Not a lot for kids to do in these affluent towns. Jeez, it's hard even finding a 7-Eleven. Might attract the wrong element. And so there's another one of those emblazoned things with kid graffiti to boot. And yes, this is our ancient bridge. And since this is a dead railroad line, we don't have the usual anxious admonishments. The thing is kind of beat, so I plan to be rather careful as I cross it. Nice sweep of the Charles. Heading down to Boston, further up that way, it goes to Medfield. Charles in all its glory with a <laughs> fringe of invasive purple loose strife to make it pretty. And lawnmowers. Always lawnmowers. The understory of the bridge is a stunning thing and will be examined in greater detail at another time. This is, will be the starting point for my next perusal of this old rail line. There's a canoeist paddling along. 
placid Charles, working its way through Needham, Wellesley, Newton, Waltham, Watertown, and Boston. My neighborhood.